Hey y'all, so I have decided to do another project pan for 2016. I did go a little bit crazy with like Black Friday and Cyber Monday deals and I got quite a few new things. And when I put my new items into my makeup collection, I just, I, it, you almost couldn't see them because they were almost being overwhelmed by some of these older kind of torn up, needs to go kind of items. And so I thought, okay, this, this is a perfect time to do it. Beginning of the year, get this stuff out. But then I'm also thinking like, well, maybe it's not the best time of year to do it because, you know, I bought new things and I may get new things for Christmas and it's like, well, I want to use the new things. I did kind of want to touch on my previous project pan because I did start one back in September. Very first project pan I've ever done and I had only just kind of briefly heard about it. I didn't do hardly any research at all. Um, and therefore I failed because I was totally unprepared. I just, I didn't know what I was doing. Um, I just, it was a fail. And right now I only had, it was a project 10 pan and I only have half of the items that were in that project pan. Um, I do have a list here and you can see the ones that are highlighted are gone out of my collection and it is not because I finished them up. Um, it's because I decluttered them or some of them went bad. And I will tell you, like my MAC lip conditioner that I was trying to use up, uh, it's so funny how something you know can be old and can be sitting in your collection for so long and it's still good or it's still decently good, but the second you pull it out, start opening, closing, opening, closing, trying to use it more, trying to pan it, it'll go bad like that. And I think it's just like, it, it's okay sitting there, not being touched, but the minute you start, you know, exposing it to more oxygen, it just kind of like pushes it over the edge and it expires. Uh, so that happened to me a couple of times. Then I just really got to a point where I was like, I don't want any of this stuff. I don't need it. I don't want it. I don't know the point of why I'm trying to pan it. I'm just going to pass it on to my best friend. There was also a palette in that project pan and it was the Too Faced French and Fabulous palette. And it's actually in my empties that just like went live last week. I did, it's probably still sitting out in, in the garbage right now because I just threw it away. The mirror had broken on it and it was, it was fine. I didn't like that, but it was fine until I tried to use it one day and shards of glass literally fell out into my lap. And I was like, nope, done calling it. I didn't want to like try to pry glass out of it. It's done for. It needs to go. So I did throw that away as well. But most everything else, um, besides the few items that I do still have that I'm moving over to this project pan, I either had to throw away or I did declutter them. So since that major fail, I feel like I've done a lot more research and I'm a lot better prepared to move into this one. I've watched a lot of girls who are good at project panning that have done this for a long time, that have panned entire palettes. Um, so I've watched them, taken their tips, tricks, ideas, and tried to implement it into this. So what I've done is gathered some items, 10 of which are, I will consider it like makeup items, and then five more are um, either personal care, body care, hair care kind of stuff. Um, so let's get into it. I'm gonna show you what I've chosen. I'm gonna start with makeup first, and I do have two primers, which I know they say like don't pick two primers, two powders, two blushes, like one of each item. Um, and I am taking that into account, but I just feel like there's stuff I wanna get out of my collection. I just, I, I don't have a single blush in here. I don't have a single mascara. There's, it's not like I want one of everything out. There's just a few of these old items that I really wanna move out, but I'm not quite ready to just declutter and let go of or throw away yet. Um, this one is the Smashbox Light. They're, you know, the original, but the light version. Um, this was just the small size. I always bought the small size because it lasts so long. And again, I cannot get this down. Um, basically, all that's left is a little bit kind of down here and it kind of goes towards the back. So like all right in here, there's product and then just some clinging to the sides. Um, I could probably cut it open when I get it down to where I can't squeeze it anymore. I don't know if I'm that committed to this product that I would want to do that, but we will see. I'm going to do my best to finally use this up. The next one is the Proactive Advanced Daily Oil Control Lotion. It's not technically labeled as a primer, but there's a lot of girls who use this as a primer and I do keep it in my makeup collection. Um, you can see my line right here. That is my best guess. I can't I can't see through the product I'm trying to hold it up to the light. I can't see through it. I've tried to kind of cram it down um, and that seems to be about where it is. This is the Stila A Few of My Favorite Things palette. This was a little Christmas palette maybe 2012, maybe 2013, somewhere in there. Um, 
there are reviews that say these kind of cardboard palettes are not as good as Stila's regular line. I would have to agree with that. I don't really care for, well, I hate the blush, don't really care for the eyeshadows either. Um, but I loved Stila Kitten. I loved this. Like this was before I got into makeup, watched makeup videos on YouTube, and I loved this. Um, I just used to wear it every single day. And that's why I have gotten through this much, like an entire this big pan of Stila Kitten. Like that is a ton of it. And I love it. Um, it's, it's so funny because most people would look at that and think like, oh, there's nothing left in there. Someone in the middle of a project pan looks at it and is like, oh my god, there's so much left. How is there this much left? I've been using it every day. I don't know, I just think it's funny. Um, but as you can see, there's only a small rim all the way around. For concealer, I have the Estee Lauder Double Wear Concealer in 02 Light Medium. And this is just like the mini size of it. And it's just the never-ending bottle of concealer. I have already pulled the stopper out and I didn't mark it because I really can't because all that's left is just product clinging to the sides. As you can see, you can see through it. If you look, like if you hold it up to light like that, you can actually see through the bottom too. That You can see light peeking through the bottom. So it's just a matter of scraping all the last bits out. I, I loved this concealer. The color matches really well to my skin. It covers really well. You only need the smallest amount and that's why it's taking so long to use this up. So I'm going to try to pan my two Bare Minerals foundations. Um, they're both the same, just original foundation. Let me try to tap these down. But I have two different shades. I have medium beige, which is N20, and you can see there that's, that's the line. There's not much left in there at all. And then I have um, Fairly Light, which is right about here where there's a little bit more left in it. And I'm actually wearing this today. I am slightly concerned about medium beige, the darker one. I'm concerned that it may be too dark for me right now at this time of year. Um, but we're going to give it a try. We're going to see what happens. Maybe, you know, I don't think it'll be so dark that I can't like go to work with it where it's not that big of a deal. Another Bare Minerals product. This is a bronzer in Faux Tan Radiance. Let me tap it down. And that's where I am on it. Uh, so I don't know, I'd say maybe a third, between a, between a quarter and a third there. Um, so he's kind of a significant amount. And this is not the best bronzer to be using during the winter. This is really a summertime bronzer. It, it can get a little bit orange and it, it, it is incredibly shimmery. So I don't know. I don't know about this one. I don't know if I have real high hopes for it, but I'm going to try to use it like to bronze up my neck and chest. Um, maybe if I have a foundation that's too dark, I'm going to try to use it for that. Um, you can see like the it's kind of chipped and beat up along the edges. That's because I've had these Bare Minerals products for quite some time. And I used to just, I mean, this was back when I just, you know, had one cosmetics bag and just threw my stuff in there and everything would get beat up and dirty and covered in makeup. I, like many people, are horrible at using up their samples. I feel like I used to be really good about it and then I just started sticking them in this one drawer in my collection and they just get looked over now. So I actually used quite a few samples um, this morning when I was getting ready and I use, this is like assorted samples, okay? And I'm going to count all of these together as one product. Um, I feel like that's kind of fair. There is, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, there was six of them. And I'm going to count that as one product. And in fact, I already used one up this morning. I used up my um, Chanel Chance little sample um, up this morning. So there's like this tiny little drop, but it won't come out in the roller ball. Um, so I can't really get it out. And I loved this. This was actually the Eau Fresh, the Chanel Chance Eau Fresh. And I really, really like this scent. This may be a little ambitious, but this is my NYX Highlight and Contour Pro Palette. And I've had this maybe about a year. I got it pretty much right when it came out. And I really loved it. I really, really did. And I do stand by that. I stand by that it's a great, more affordable option at $25. And then oh, there's always sales, coupons, buy one, get ones on NYX. Um, but the more I've played with it and the more I've gotten around to using it, I've learned a few things about their products. 
One, I will tell you I love this color right here. As you can see, it's more of a cool tone, and that's pretty much the only thing in here that I use to contour. It's actually called Sculpt, and now that they sell it in singles, um, I could replace it if I wanted to. But that's the one I'm trying to pan. I actually popped it out so you can get a better look at it. As you can see, you can see the rings of the pan, so I doubt I have a whole lot left. And there's actually quite a bit down on the sides of the pan as well. The last makeup product here is a little gloss from Smashbox and it's in Illum. And you may, if you've been here for a while, you may know that this is like my favorite lip gloss like my favorite lip product ever created. I just wore the heck out of it, as you can see. That's where my line is right now. I wore it so much, and then I just got away from it. I quit, I don't know, I just started wearing lip balm every day, and I got away from it. And this used to just live in my purse, and that may be what I need to do with it, um, to try to use it up because it's the color has changed a little bit. It used to be a lot more pink. It's getting a little bit more kind of flesh toned, and the smell is okay, it doesn't smell bad, but I know it needs to go. So that's my 10 makeup products. Now I have five assorted personal care hair care products. This one is the Bath & Body Works Body Splash in uh, Velvet Sugar. I will show you my line. Here it is, right there, if you can see. So not a whole lot left. Sorry, I'm getting some black, bad glare. Uh, so not a whole lot left in there, maybe about, I don't know, oh, that's probably less than a quarter. Um, the thing is, I get one of these in my stocking every single year. I know my mom gives them to me. Um, this one was in my stocking in Christmas 2013. So this is two years old, like officially right now. Um, it's okay. The ones I get in my stocking last year, I got a thousand wishes, which I love. It smells awesome, but all of them are very wintry scents, and I'm someone who's very particular about that. I will only wear wintry, warm, heavier scents in the winter. I will not wear them in the summer. They just don't smell right on me. Um, so I know I need to use this up. I know I need to. This is the Bedhead Dumb Blonde Smoothing Stuff. I don't know, I just, I'm not crazy about the whole dumb blonde name and line. I had a couple of products for them, and my best friend, my best friend and my mother are both blondes, and I don't know, I just kind of take offense to that. I, I don't know. I know it's just joking, but I just, I never got into the dumb blonde jokes or anything like that. I think they're stupid. Anyway, so I don't have a whole lot left. You can see my line here. The thing is, I can only use this when my hair is wet. I did it today when I washed my hair um, because it just, it's so heavy and it's so thick. Um, it just seems too thick that it weighs my hair down too much when I put it on dry hair. It's like shimmery, almost glittery. Like it, it makes your hair really shiny. And then the other one is the Sebastian Laminates High Gloss Spray. I had two bottles of this actually and I combined it down into this bottle and I, I don't have a lot left as you can see right right there so about a quarter left last two products this is designer skin it's a brand it's a tanning lotion brand and this is adore and is this not you can see why I fell in love with it and bought it and bought this $35 lotion and that's wholesale price it's like a $60 lotion this is a tanning lotion for tanning and tanning beds because I used to fry the shit out of myself every single day. I was completely and totally addicted to tanning. So what I want to do is just use it up as a regular body lotion, and which is fine, and they're, they actually feel really great on the skin. They smell great. They're very silicone heavy, and it's just the whole, it's everything with tanning. It's the, the lotion that feels so good on your skin. It's, yeah, it's it's like a whole gimmick. Anyways, um, so I think I can use this up just as a lotion. There's absolutely no point in hanging on to it. I will never tan again. I will never lay out in the sun again without sunscreen. My last item here is the Dirty Little Secret Dry Shampoo from Bedhead. This is actually the old bottle. They have, it's in a black bottle now. It's black with silver writing if you see it. Don't get it. It's not good. <laughs> um, it leaves a bad white cast. I think this was like the first generation of dry shampoo before they really perfected it so it leaves a white cast and which may be okay for blondes but as a brunette it just it's it's hard to deal with it doesn't volumize it doesn't really smell it doesn't smell good at all it doesn't like freshen your hair up or anything like that but it does you know 
take the oil out. Okay, so that is everything officially in my project pan. So wish me luck on these items. I'm gonna do my best, I really am. And I'm gonna do my best to like photograph and document and mark, um, which is something I didn't even know I needed to do when I did the first project pan. So I'm learning a lot here. Alrighty y'all, I hope you enjoyed and seriously, wish me luck and send me prayers. I'm gonna need it. Um, but I'm trying to be positive going in. So thank you so, so much for watching. If you do wanna like stay up to date, I do plan on doing some updates here, probably, you know, monthly. I would love it if you'd subscribe and hang out. I'd love to have you as a friend here on my channel. Remember that you are already famous in your hometown. See y'all in the next video. Bye. Sugar just got back from the groomer. She's so cute. Get her all dolled up for Christmas. Look at her little bows. I love my groomer. She does such a good job. We decided to do the little, um, the more traditional poodle cut on her with the, the paws that are shaved. Aren't they adorable? I don't know, I kind of like it. I think it'll help drag less leaves into the house too. She's so pooped, she's tired. She's always worn out after the groomer, so I let her sleep. She's a good girl. I let you go sleep. I just wanted to show everyone how cute you look right now. Oh, there's my baby. There's my baby. I love you. She's a good girl. Okay, we'll go back to bed. <laughs>